Are you ready to discover the most impactful habits you can integrate into your life? In this video, we'll explore a selection of highly effective habits worth considering. By the end of this discussion, you'll have the opportunity to choose one that resonates with you and we'll delve deeper into it throughout the course. You'll not only gain valuable insights into these habits, but also identify the one that can make a real difference in your life. So keep watching to select your personal game-changing habit for the journey ahead. But before that, let me tell you a story. Once there was a guy named Mark. He was just an average guy in his late 20s with a regular job. Mark wasn't super fit, but he managed to keep his weight in check. However, he had a habit that was bothering him. Smoking. Mark used to smoke four or five cigarettes every day, and he knew it was a problem. Then one day, Mark met Emily, a woman he instantly clicked with. The only hitch was that Emily really disliked smoking, and she encouraged Mark to quit. Love grew between them, and Mark agreed with Emily's advice. He decided to give up smoking completely. It wasn't easy and he faced some challenges. But after a year of determination, Mark finally quit smoking. But that wasn't the end of Mark's transformation. He started going to the gym, shedding extra pounds and building muscles. He also picked up reading, expanding his knowledge. At work, his relationships with colleagues and bosses improved and he even earned a promotion. his first in five years. Stories like Mark's are pretty common. Researchers have noticed that when someone tackles a bad habit or starts a new good one, it often leads to other positive changes in their life. They call this a keystone habit, like a domino that sets off a chain reaction of good habits and life changes. I'm sharing this story with you today because in today's video, you'll choose a habit to work on. I'll introduce you to three powerful keystone habits that can make a big difference in your life. Number three, fitness. The third crucial habit we're going to talk about today is fitness. This includes activities like running, lifting weights, or doing exercises like push-ups and squats. Fitness is a strong keystone habit because it's closely linked to what we eat. Studies show that when people start working out regularly, they often end up making better choices with their diet. Even if they weren't planning to, it's pretty logical. If you put in a lot of effort at the gym, you're less likely to eat unhealthy stuff right afterward because it feels like you're undoing your hard work. Since these two habits tend to go hand in hand, it takes a good amount of willpower to stick to them. But once you've made them a regular part of your life, it becomes much easier to tackle smaller habits. Think of willpower like a muscle. The more you use it, the stronger it gets. What's more, the fitness and diet combo has a big impact on how you feel every day. Many people often feel tired or sluggish, and a lot of time, it's linked to what they eat or their lack of physical activity. When they start embracing these two good habits, they usually report feeling much better. Feeling better daily makes it a lot simpler to adopt other positive habits. This ability to enhance your body's everyday function is what makes fitness and diet such powerful keystone habits. Number two, meditation. Meditation is like a brain workout. It trains a part of your brain responsible for self-control and willpower, making it stronger just like working out at the gym. This gives you special abilities like better control over your feelings. This is useful because strong emotions often make us give in to bad habits. Meditation also helps you focus for longer. It's hard to concentrate on one thing nowadays. But if you make meditation a habit, you'll become much better at paying attention. You might go from struggling to read a couple of pages without getting distracted to easily reading whole chapters. The last superpower of meditation is a sense of happiness. 
Remember when you were a kid and small things made you really happy? Meditation can bring back that feeling. You see the world with fresh, amazed eyes, just like when you were a child. Meditation is a powerful keystone habit. It's tough to stick to, but if you make it a daily habit, your willpower will grow strong, making it easier to adopt other good habits. Number one, reading. We all know that education matters. That's why we spend a big chunk of our lives in places designed to teach us stuff. But here's the catch. Most of what we learn in school doesn't really help us much in real life. When was the last time you had to use history or calculus in your everyday routine? Instead, we should be learning about practical things like how to get along with others, eating well, staying fit, and managing money. Things they don't really teach us in school. Books are like treasure chest of knowledge on all these topics. They also open our eyes to new ways of looking at things we thought were set in stone. Take buying a car, for instance. Most people assume it's better to buy one, but if you read books on investing or money management, you might discover that leasing can actually make more sense. I know car salespeople who lease their own rides, not buy them. Here's the magic of reading. It doesn't just stay in the books, it seeps into your life. Read about body language and suddenly, you're more aware of your own and other people's body signals. Dive into a book on money management, and you'll catch yourself spending wiser. Reading is like a secret superpower, because it can make any part of your life better, making it one of the most amazing habits you can pick up. I get it, there are a lot of other good habits out there, like taking cold showers, following morning routines, or making your bed. But these three keystone habits are absolutely some of the most powerful ones you can add to your life. So here's what I want you to do right now. Carefully consider which habit you want to focus on, which of these habits are you going to commit to and work on until it becomes a natural part of your daily routine. Like brushing your teeth, that's the goal. It's also crucial to remember that you should only tackle one of these habits at a time. We humans might think we're good at doing multiple things at once, but the truth is we're not. If you try to adopt several habits simultaneously, you'll likely get overwhelmed and end up not succeeding. Stick to the single keystone habit you choose until it becomes second nature in your life. So, which one are you going to start with? Share your choice in the comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe so you can watch more videos like this.